Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this Enlight Photo Fox tutorial. So, in this um, Enlight Photo Fox tutorial, we're gonna have a look at um, at double exposures. And if you've seen the new Mission Impossible trailer or the new Mission Impossible posters, we're gonna try and um, sort of make something along the lines of this. So I've just got Enlight Photo Fox open, and we've just got two images, just two random images. We've got a stock um, image of a male. Um, sort of model on a, on a white grey background, I suppose. If you um, if you look at this background, you can you can see that you know the shadows on the wall. You know it's not a perfect background, and um, just click on do to get it back to how I wanted it. Yeah, so it's not a perfect background, but um, but it's something that we can work with. And then I've got this um, sort of landscape of this city. Um, image on top of that layer so just important to see that I have got the this image here on top of the other layer if you look on my right hand side on the layers and all I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch and squeeze with this um, top layer and get it somewhere I want it and get it somewhere sort of um, that I think it will fit or look nice over the bottom image so then I'm going to go to um, go to blending. Just make sure I've got my layers selected in the bottom left hand side, and go to blending. And then I'm just going to go to either plus lighter or just lighter. I think lighter in the first instance looks a bit nicer um, than the other one. So obviously, as you can see at the top, if I just click off this this initial layer, that I've got this line at the top and bottom of my image. Now, there's a few things I could do to get rid of that. One of them really easily being is I can just increase the image size so select the layer again then pinch and squeeze and just make the image a little bit bigger and that's the um, the technique that we're going to use for now another one would be um, sort of use um, an effect on the layer we could cover that in another session I suppose but this looks quite um, quite nice as it is I'm sure you'll agree so we're just going to add a few more um, do a few more little little bits to this to this um, double exposure First one being what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, I'm going to click my second image, so my my model image, and then I'm going to go to layers at the bottom, um, sorry tone at the bottom, and then adjust, and then with brightness, I'm just going to ramp the brightness up like so. So all it does it takes away. Look, if I if I decrease the brightness, um, I'm at the brightness minus whatever number. I can bring more of that foreground image in, but if I increase the brightness, it takes away the background part of that image. So then all we're pretty much left with, we can just mess around with it a little bit, and all we're pretty much left with is just the model covered. And then you could, um, the contrast um, would just make things a little bit more prominent, or you could um, just haze things a little bit by decreasing the contrast. And then the structure is just going to sharpen things up if you want to sharpen the outsides or the the outlines of the model up hue is just going to change the um sort of the hue the tone um of the um of the image the saturation is going to um is going to make it um warmer or cooler and then the sharpen again is just going to sharpen the image up or, or not as the case may be but i'm just going to leave the sharpen halfway up and i'm going to leave the brightness halfway up just to get the image the way i want it like so and then i'm going to click this little plus button here and then i'm going to click the little plus button again at the top right hand side to add another layer when i click it i'll get this transparent and photo thing pop up i'm just going to click i want a transparent layer on the top and then what I'm going to do down here, I'm going to go to layers and then I'm going to go to fill with my transparent layer selected. I'm going to select color and then I'm going to choose this pink color, choose a blue color, choose whatever color you want, of course. And then I'm going to click the little tick button up here to say that that's OK. So um, we just got our colored layer on top. I'm going to go to um, make sure I've got layers selected, go to blending again and then go to lighten. And all this does is just gives me this really nice sort of um, sort of summer effect. I could try plus brighten, um, and you can try all of these um, all of these blending modes and see which one you just think suits you best or which one you like best. I quite like the screen, but what I want to do is just tone it down a little bit more. So I'm selecting the screen with my pink layer selected. Or my colored layer selected and then go back to layers go to go to opacity and then slide down a little bit on the opacity 
So then I'm going to go to this center layer. So my, my sort of landscape layer. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go to the tone. And then I'm going to go to um, dark room. And then you could add a different filter and just apply this filter. So something you can you can try. And I quite like this clarify like so. And then all this does is just brings back some of that image in the background and um, and dulls down the face a little bit. So that's where I'm going to leave this image. I, you can mess about with it a little bit more if you want to, but I quite like this image looking like this. I suppose what, what you could do again is you could go back to your, your bottom layer, go back to your adjust and then um, have a look at your brightness again. And, and like this would look quite nice like so. And this, if, you, um, if we made it a little bit sharper, so it would look quite nice like this. But obviously what you want to do is leave your details if indeed you're going to double blend or double expose an image of yourself. You want to sort of leave your details there. But this is quite a nice image and you could even add, I suppose, to... Um, you could add another layer and, and add some effects to that if you wanted to. Um, should we try it? Let's add a transparent layer and then let's go to artistic effects and let's add some of these some of these birds just flying generally you don't want them flying over the person's sort of facial features i suppose because then you wouldn't get to see it so then we just click the little plus button a little tick button in the corner to agree the changes and remember this is just a layer so we can remove that layer if we don't like it let's go to layers go to not blending sorry go to opacity and then slide that opacity right down so you can only just see them so that just adds a little bit more to it and then once you're happy with that remember you can add up to five layers if you um, if you subscribe if you pay the subscription so this is a double exposure really quick really easy i'm going to um, i'm going to save that out by clicking the little um, little up button there and i'm just going to click save to camera roll where it says save to camera roll and then that image is saved and we can have a look at that at the back end so thanks a lot for watching this tutorial hope you found it useful and if you have any questions about end light fighter fox please um, leave them in the comments below and um, don't forget you can subscribe and stuff if you want so, uh...